Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Jack Ram here, showing you today this beautiful three story with over 4,800 square feet. We have uh, five bedrooms in this house, three car garage. Beautiful home located in southwest of Las Vegas, built by Pulte Homes. Can't wait to show it to you. This is a quick move in. We have uh, a lot of upgrades in this house and it's going for a great discount. So stay tuned for that. We're located in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. This is uh, a community uh, called Hayford. And uh, we've got a really good deal here on our hands, uh, available for you guys if you're interested in buying this house. And uh, let's go inside, let's go check it out. But before we go in, remember this one has a, has a rooftop deck on top. So we're gonna see the whole valley once we get on, on the last floor. Um, but yeah, before we go in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, let me know what you think about this house. Got a little balcony here in the front. That's where your main living room is. On the first floor, you have a huge uh, game room and a primary bedroom. And then uh, we have on the third floor, all the other bedrooms with a second primary. Beautiful home. Uh, it's one of the classics here in Las Vegas. This floor plan has been around for quite some time, approximately, you know, 10 years or so. And it's been a very successful one in this area of the town. Uh, it used to be built by American West until Pulte Homes actually purchased this uh, business, you know, American West, this builder. And uh, now it's uh, Pulte carried on with this floor plan because, and they modernized it as well, removing some extra things that were not needed in the house. So as we walk in, we'll have the staircases right here. This one is upgraded with the horizontal stair rails right here which is really nice got a huge open floor plan upstairs we're gonna go see it but let's start from the downstairs which in this specific model what they did is uh they kept the regular bedroom i believe yeah so they did just a regular bedroom with a bathroom downstairs and they blew out this game room so they could have a little bit of room what you can do in this model is pull that wall up right here and make it a full primary bedroom downstairs Okay, but this one has uh, eight foot ceilings here on the first floor. We have an uh, eight foot wide sliding door with six foot eight high. And uh, we have a little bar area downstairs. And uh, you can also put in here a nice, you know, beverage refrigerator. A little sink. You can toss that ice when you're prepping your drink. You know what I mean? For guests. Shaker cabinets. It looks like they put this uh, brown slate color on the cabinets in this house. And then uh, we do have the full bedroom downstairs. Okay, this is still the option because this this is pretty much the option with the second primary bedroom or ensuite, whatever you want to call it. I thought this was the option where they moved the, the wall over, but that was on a different floor plan that you can do that. So I apologize for that mistake. Um, but yeah, this is a primary bedroom downstairs, which is awesome. Look at that closet right here, very spacious. And then uh, now the original price tag on this one is $997,000 on this house. Look at that lot, really nice. Now, $997,000, that's not, however, the price of the home right now, because obviously prices are negotiable. So depending on the realtor you get, you might get a really good discount on this one. And uh, washer and dryer are gonna be down here, which is great. I'm not saying go with me, maybe another realtor can do a good job at it. But I am experienced with these people and I know the sales managers and everything. I know what they're willing to take for these homes. So if you need a realtor experience that can, you know, guide you through this process to get this house for you, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to represent you and be a realtor. Now, I remember they used to have an FA unit, unit right here, which is a forced air unit. They used to put it in here. I'm not sure what happened. They must've changed it a little bit where they put in the attic or something. Uh, that will be your coat closet, some extra storage downstairs. You do have access to your garage 
down here. And look at how cool this is. Look, you have some extra storage on top of your three car garage. Look at that. Full three car garage. Now, one cool thing is uh, in this one, they also added the uh, garage uh, door uh, engine right here, well, motor, uh, because it doesn't come usually with the third car garage having the, the motor. So they added that as an option as well. Okay. Tankless water heater, soft water loop as well. And this is a quick move in. Nobody has ever lived in this house. They literally built it and somebody else maybe didn't move forward with it, didn't purchase it, and that's what happened. As you can see, we have a forced air unit on this side. So I think they must have done something where they moved it over into the garage where it used to be in that closet over there. I think that's a smart move also for sound insulation and stuff like that, you know. Look how big this storage space is. Pretty much a kid's dream. Put some uh, bean bags right here, TV on that side. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. We have the black fixtures here throughout the house. You have all the hinges, all the doorknobs are going to be black, which is nice. Let's go see the backyard really quick. We can see what kind of pool we can put in here. The carpet, uh, it looks like it's the included carpet. Yeah, they put in no extra padding or anything. Okay, it's a big size backyard. We have about 40 feet. Yeah, no, probably not 40. About 35 feet deep. Maybe this 40. Yeah, it's about 40 feet from the house to the back fence over here, which is nice. And you can put a huge pool back here for sure. We have a balcony here from the second floor, which is the main level. Let's go see it. Now this bar upgrade right here, it's not cheap. That's expensive to put in. So I think it's like 10, 12 grand or something like that to go over there. Then they do, uh, they did do here a uh, carpet. So it's just a regular included carpet on the main room. I'm guessing whoever was purchasing this house was going to come in and rip out the carpet and put in their own uh, flooring. So they do have here the French doors, which is nice. Going into your den. Look at that. This is a spacious den, okay? This could be a perfect office. Big window, about 12 feet on that wall by probably about 15 on this wall, 16. It's very spacious and it even has a little closet here, I think. Yep. So this could be considered a bedroom if you wanted to put a bed in here. Probably just have to change these doors. Okay. So this is a huge living room. I love the upgrades they put in this one. Look at that. Electric fireplace, 78 inches wide. It's the linear electric one. Huge open floor plan. I mean, this house has so much potential. If you would put in here a nice floor, let's say a, even a darker shade of flooring, kind of matching the cabinets, or if you want to go lighter, I mean, you can do whatever you want because these colors are pretty neutral and modern. So you can get creative here. It has a little hint of brown in these cabinets. And then all the all the options they choose here are gorgeous. They also did the extra pop out here from the island. So you can fit two chairs on this side. And this is a regular table size, okay? So it's a regular height. So these are gonna be just regular chairs. Kind of like having a dining room because you can fit four on this side and then uh, another two on this side, making it six seats. We also have the pre, uh, what's it called? The cabinets built up for the 48 inch refrigerator. Now this refrigerator, I'm not sure if they purchased it with the property, if it's arriving or not, but it is one of those options that uh, takes forever to get. And look at this pantry, very, very spacious pantry. Look at that, so true. 
Now the asking price is 997. Now, can are they going to come down? Yes. How much are they going to come down? I can't say it on the video because then I'm giving away the builders negotiation power and I don't want to do that for them. But obviously for my clients, that would be my client's best interest, which is to get them the best deal possible, right? That's that's what they hired me for. So if you guys want to know how much we can get this house for, feel free to reach out to me. Got a, a balcony up on the front of the house. This is a small balcony that we saw from the outside. Yeah, so in this house, however, we have uh, courts on this pop out, the dining room pop out. And they also added courts here. It kind of matches well. It has a little hint of gray in here and then with this gray, it's really nice. This one has a hint of a, of a brown as well. So it could match with anything else. As you can see here, it kind of pulls it out. This brown, when you match it up with this dark espresso brown, right? It is an espresso color, but it has a little hint of slate on it. Then they do they did do this uh, man-made tile here on the backsplash, which is really nice. And give it that dark color to it, making all the countertops stand out and pop out, which is good. Built-in Whirlpool appliances. We have a convection oven right here. You can uh, control it from your phone if you wanted to. And then the built-in cooktop, still by Whirlpool with uh, the canopy hood on top. Real nice. And then on top of that, they added also the KitchenAid microwave on top of the oven. So you get, now these appliances here are mismatching. So my guess is what they did here, they were supposed to close on this house. They, could, they couldn't close on it because they didn't have the appliances in. So they put in a KitchenAid. So what happens is, They'll have to take it out when, or maybe that oven was still back order. Maybe that's supposed to be a KitchenAid. So they put these as temporary. But what they're going to do is they're going to come back out. They're going to replace the mismatching one whenever they get them because of the supply chain issues. Let's go see that balcony here in the back of the house. I think uh, it's a very spacious balcony. And it's covered, so it's perfect. This is also stucco, concrete uh, stucco right here on the floor. You got those vents on top. Now that's actually uh, vents only for this uh, area right here, which is going to be, uh, you know, that's just for ventilation. So they allow proper air to get out of it. That's why they have to do that. But. Yeah, they, they still need to touch up this thing because as, as you can see, we have a settlement crack right here. And that's due to the fact that they put in this uh, transition right here, which is not, they didn't do a good job on it. So they'll come back and do that whoever, for whoever purchases this home. Yeah, beautiful open floor. And we have our dining room back there, the living room over on this side, which is huge. With your TV set on there. Awesome. Spending too much time. That's how you know I really like a house. I spend so much time in it. talking about it and praising it. For the price, too. I mean, I haven't seen these prices since 2020. So, I remember 2020 when we had the pandemic. This thing was just, nobody was buying up there. So, pedestal sink, toilet. They, what they did here, this, uh, although it looks like tile is actually a vinyl sheet that's the included flooring so i prefer this one because then i can rip it out very easily when i go to put in my own flooring look how spacious this is the cool thing about this floor plan and i don't know why they took it out they used to offer an option where you could do a, an elevator here so this extra room right here was actually meant for an elevator okay i mean come up that that would make this floor plan just perfect because the main issues that people have with this uh, floor plan is that it has a lot of stairs so it's not really practical for a lot of people but most people don't care about it this is the second primary bedroom over there we have all the other bedrooms for the kids i'm guessing and then uh and then over to the left right here we have access to the rooftop deck which we'll go to in a second 
over to the right. Let's make our way around. Laundry room. This is the second laundry room in here, which is awesome. So whoever lives downstairs, you saw the laundry room downstairs, they will have their own. And then uh, they can also have their own kitchen and everything. So pretty much they can live downstairs. And then the second family could live upstairs right here, where they use this laundry room with their kitchen, you know. And even has a sink on this one with all the cabinets on top, which is nice. Linen closet. Pretty roomy. You have in here that first bedroom here, or first secondary bedroom with the walk in closet as well. That's nice. We have eight foot ceilings here on the third floor. Forgot to mention on the second floor, we, uh, we had a main, uh, in the main level nine foot ceilings. I love the choices that they, they made for this uh, design center. And the other thing, this is culture marble. It's nice. It's, it does just fine for this bathroom, but I would have probably added a higher level upgraded quartz personally. Got a window on top over there, and then you got a bunch of light, private glass enclosure on the mount sinks. It's cool. Uh, second bedroom here. This is a spacious one about 14 feet, by, well, 13 feet by here by 12. And you also have the full walk-in closet as well. Spacious. So one, two bedrooms. The third bedroom back here, now this is the biggest one of the secondary bedrooms. That's about 15 feet wide by 11. So plenty of room. I do like how big their windows are in these uh, floor plans. Allows a lot of light to come in. And guess what? Here you get your own bathroom as well. Walk in closet. Now, this one is still missing that glass enclosure. We still haven't gotten to install it, but it will be installed. Look at that walk in closet. So, pretty much oh, three primary bedrooms here is what you have. With this one being so big. I mean, this is a very unique floor plan. You can't find this anywhere else here in Vegas. Not the three story, not with three pretty much primary bedrooms with their own bathroom, you know. Oh, but this is the big one upstairs. Okay, look at that. Two windows. Bed, the bed would go right here in between. You got your entertainment center, whatever area. Bathroom. And then walk-in closet on this side. Look at that. Look how big this is. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you even, have, you even have storage down here under the stairs. Wow. Impressive. Impressive. They did a great job with this floor plan. Then you have right here that. Primary bathroom. Two sinks, plenty of counter space, self-standing tub. Now, what they did here is messed up to this tub. Look at that. What's wrong with that? Let me know down in the comments. What's wrong with this tub? Tell me what's wrong with this tub down in the comments. I'm gonna have to take that out to change it out. Probably replace the whole tub because it's it's not fixable. I don't know, some people are just stupid. They just don't care, that's what it's careless more than anything. That's the thickness of the glass, 3 8 of an inch. It's really nice. It's got the fiberglass on the bottom and then they added the same culture marble that you saw in all the bathrooms here. They put it also in the, in the shower. Now the good thing about that one is uh, it doesn't have any grout lines, so it doesn't get dirty, easy to clean. And I know because I have time in my shower, and you can tell, you know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't stay clean, you know, as clean as it's supposed to be, especially with in contact with water and stuff. Big linen closet, I don't know if you can sell. Jump duck over here because you do get, it's a primary bedroom, so, you know, they're usually the ones that pay for the house, so they're gonna, you gotta make them happy. They don't put on those grills that you see on top of the doors, you know, in place of that. That usually is pretty much to allow proper airflow to go in and out of the house. 
they do that <clears throat> here only at the bedroom. So the people that pay for the house, you know, that's how, that's how it works. Kids, they don't pay for it. They don't have a say, so who cares? No privacy or nothing. Look at that. Perfect spot right here. Hang out. Put your furniture on the second floor. It has those holes right there to allow all the water to go out. It's got a really good size, uh, good slope. I don't like I don't like flat roofs personally, just because they tend to cause issue, issues in the long term. But the way they did this one with the proper amount of slope, and especially because it's here in Vegas, you, I don't think you'll have any issues. And look at that full 360 view of the strip. Now this uh, area it is surrounded by these high tension, uh, you know, power lines. Some people care about them, some people don't. Let me know down in the comments if this is a deal breaker for you. Uh, it is pretty far away, and actually the lots that they have are actually on the other side, which are even farther out. But this is like probably 400 feet away, so it's not even a big deal. I don't know why people think it's a big deal, but... Strip view is kind of impaired right here by the power lines and all, but that's where the strip is. And then... Uh, the views of the whole city here at night. You get mountain views all around it. Now, they have some lots where you can build this house from scratch, right on that side over there, over here. And uh, actually, so, sorry, it's over there on that side. So those lot that you see right there. So you can build it from scratch and put whatever you want in the house. So if you guys are interested for a realtor to guide you throughout the whole process, let me know down in the comments uh, what you think about the house. Uh, reach out to me if you need any help. All my information is down below in the description. Appreciate you watching, but don't forget, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.